Welcome to VTO e Shikshana program. Today we are going to do the last session of that uh, metallic corrosion and metal finishing uh, chapter session that is module 2 engineering chemistry A21 CHE 12 bar 22. So now last class we were, we were earlier sessions we were discussing about that metal finishing. What is metal finishing? Metal finishing is the surface model object by applying paints or enamels by applying paints and enamels, electroplating process, electroless plating process, etc. Then what is meant by surface, uh, what is meant by uh, metal finishing, meaning the surface modding object by applying paints and enamels. So next is the technological importance of metal finishing or corrosion to offer corrosion resistance to offer to the surface a thermal or optical reflectivity that is nothing but uh, mirror image finishing to import abrasion A, B, R, A, S, abrasion and wear and tear resistance to impart thermal resistance and resistance to impact to provide electrical or thermal conducting surfaces for the manufacture of electrical and electronic components such as printed circuit boards, capacitors, electrical contacts, etc. in electrotyping that is gramophone. And uh, next is that uh, definition about polarization, decomposition potential over voltage. Polarization can be defined as a process uh, where there is a variation of the electrode potential due to inadequate supply species from the bulk of the solution to the electrode. And this can be determined by Nust equation E is equal to E naught plus 0 0.0591 by N log metal ion concentration. Decomposition potential can be defined as the minimum external voltage or potential that must be applied in order to bring about electrolysis of an electrolyte. Over voltage or over potential can be defined as the excess or maximum voltage or potential that has to be applied above the theoretical decomposition potential for continuous electrolysis. So you to apply at least a volt extra than theoretically calculated decomposition. But for example, um, dilute acids are bases, 1.7 volt is critically calculated decomposition potential, um, uh, you know like plus 1 volt that is 2.7 volt where to uh, 1.7 V is theoretically calculated decomposition potential for dilute acids are bases. Then uh, electroplating process, electroplating is a process in which one metal, a metal is coated with another metal. For example, a cheaper metal has to be coated with costlier metal. Iron has to be coated with uh, any other metal. For example, electroplating of nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver, etc. That means cheaper metal. Iron is a cheaper metal or base metal with respect to gold, copper, etc. So, what are the objects about that? It helps uh, to increase the corrosion resistance and uh, chemical attack and other things are going to be avoided to improve the surface properties. For decorative and commercial values of the metal, the value will be increased about that. So next one is that uh, electroplating variables or parameters. There are 10 parameters are there. Electroplating bath composition, it consists of metal ions. Concentration varies from 1 to 3 molar and pH, uh, you know like uh, you have to maintain electro proper pH and temperature, current density. Current density is nothing but current per unit area. Um, that is for example electroplating of copper 3 to 8 um, 3 to 8 milli per meter, meter square that is electroplating of uh, nickel chromium 12 to 20 copper 8 to 11 milli ampere per decimeter square agitation that is oxygen air agitation anode uh, for example electroplating of that uh, um, nickel that is nickel balls in titanium container or anode bag and cathode that is what are the objects you are going to plate that about that. Substrate pretreatment means before going to do electroplating process that means clean the surface of the object using organic solvent or alkali followed by acid treatment. Whereas substrate or object post treatment means after come the electroplating process say um, the object has to be say 30 minutes the object has to be kept in hot air oven maintaining 105 to 1, 105 to uh, 120 degrees Celsius for 2 days. Or, uh, or 48 hours, then at higher temperature in the furnace 600 to 800 degrees Celsius. 
600 to 800 degrees Celsius for 6 to 8 hours. The above heat treatments are required to get a stable one. That means whatever the metal is deposited over the object should be adhered to the base metal that should withstand with higher temperature, higher pressure or any corrosive environment about that. So, then uh, you know like uh, this one is uh, efficiency. For example, electroplating of nickel 98 percent uh, and electroplating of chromium around 8 to 12 percent, copper etc. 90 percent. Uses number one is that one is to protect the metal from the corrosion. Other one is that use for domestic and industrial applications about that. Okay, it is used for both domestic and industrial applications. Then electroplating of chromium. So, 250 to 300 gram per liter of that chromic acid and 2.5 to 5 gram per liter of that uh, so, uh, concentrated sulfuric acid per liter. Then temperature 2 to 4, uh, temperature um, 60 degree Celsius, pH 2 to 4, I repeat pH 2 to 4, this is a more acidic and temperature 6 Celsius, current density 12 to 20 milli ampere per decimeter squared. Then uh, an, uh, this one agitation, air agitation, then uh, anodic anode, insoluble anode example lead lead tin alloy that is lead tin alloy PBSN. Alloy is nothing but homogeneous mixture of two or more metals. Then cathode or object, cathode means uh, what are the object, OTP, what are the object you are going to place that is cathode. Substrate or object pretreatment, the object is degreased, okay, remove the dirt with organic solvent or alkali followed by acid treatment. So, before going to do plating about that, first you have to clean with water, remove the dirt which is deposit surface of the object using emery paper uh, while well before that you have to put that solvent or alkali say about that acetone etc. Then wash with water, substrate or object post treatment. After electroplating process say 30, uh, 30 minutes, the object has to be kept in hot air oven maintained about 105 to 120 degrees Celsius for 2 days or 48 hours. Then in the muffled furnace at higher temperature at uh, this is not uh, this one 48 hours and then at higher temperature say 6 to 8 hours uh, 600 800 Celsius. The above heat, uh, treatment, heat treatments are required to get uh, heat treatments are required to get a stable one to get a stable one. Stable one means whatever the one object was plated over that the thing should not come out that should be adhered to the base metal. See even this is also electroplating of um, this one chromium. So, this thing should not come out of that that should be stranded with higher temperature higher pressure or any corrosive environment. Efficiency I told you that 8 to 12 percent though you are getting 8 to 12 percent this is more advantage than any other electroplating process because it is used for both um, domestic as well as industrial applications. Number one to protect the metal from the corrosion that is the main objective of this chapter. Number two is that it is used for both domestic and industrial applications. Whenever we application, whenever we construct the building, when the color, color of the building is if it's blue color, it is possible to get that blue or red or whatever the color about that object to be plated about that. That is called matching color. Next is that electroplating of nickel. This one is called Watts bath W A T T yes, Watts bath. Uh, you know like uh, here approximately can weigh that uh, even that add that to take the compound of that per liter you will get 98 percent 100 percent. Say 240 to 300 gram per liter about uh, nickel sulphate, 40 to 60 gram per liter about that nickel chloride, 25 to 40 gram boric acid is take 240 or 300, 40 or 60 or 25 you will get uh, what you call that uh, 98 percent efficiency. pH 3.5 temperature 35 degree Celsius, current density 3 to 8 milli ampere per decimeter squared, agitation air agitation, anode nickel balls in a titanium container bag is called anode bag, it is called anode bag. Anode bag. Then Cathode, what are the object? It is going to be plated. That is about that OTP object to be plated. If I want to plate this one, that is the cathode. Then substrate or object treatment, that is uh, the object is to be degreased or remove the dirt with using organic solvent alkali followed by acid treatment. 
the substrate or object uh, treatment, uh, substrate or object uh, post treatment. That means after electroplating process, the object has to be kept in hot air oven, maintaining 105 degrees Celsius uh, for uh, two days or 40, 48 hours. This is not days. This is hours. 40, 48 hours or two days. Then in the muffle furnace at 600 to 800 degrees Celsius for 6 to 8 hours. The above heat treatment is required to get a stable one. Efficiency is that around 100 percent and uh, the 1900 then your reactions nickel to nickel to plus and the same reaction is going to be reversed that is in the cathode. Uh, this is the one about that. Okay, one is positive, other forward one is you know, reversed. The nickel ion travel through the solution, it they get reduced at the surface of the cathode. Then next up uses or applications, electroplating of nickel is used to protect the metal from the to protect a metal from the corrosion. See if this of aim of that uh, uh, this one, what is the chapter that is called metal finishing means you are going to protect the metal from the corrosion. Heavy nickel coatings greater than 50 mm thickness are used to reclaim components which I had worn cor corroded in service like to build up worn uh, socks or electric uh, motors and generators. Uh, this is high temperature, high pressure level things to be used about that. Next is that electroplating of gold. Electroplating of gold you have that uh, acidic, acidic, neutral and alkaline. alkaline about that that is 12 to 4 this is based on the pH this is about that 6 to 8 this is about 2 to 4 about that. So, based on pH that electroplating of gold is going to be 3 types about that. So, now you know like acidic bath electro this one in electronic industry gold plating is applied to the following one that is semiconductors, printed PCBs, printed circuit boards in electro industries, electro electrical contacts or connectors. Gold plating baths may be classified in the basis of pH range that is about that if that alkaline cyanide bath pH about 10, neutral bath pH around 6 to 8, alkaline cyanide bath that is 3.5 to 4 around 3 to 4. Gold cyanide is unstable and precipitates below pH 3.5. Alkaline cyanide and neutral cyanide baths are employed to plate semiconductors while acid cyanide bath is preferred for printed circuit boards and connectors. See now this cyanide is a poison, cyanide is a poison, potassium cyanide whatever the one are used for this one about that you know like golden gold, Kohler gold field KGF even people might have seen that in movie also Kohler gold field there is a people most of people have suffered because of that cyanide bath. Next is that here this is the bath is given in this one acidic bath this is acid bath that is pH I told you about this potassium gold cyanide and citric acid and this is 20 to 50 platinum clad uh, the niobium the anode article cathode whatever the one 100 to 400 milliampers this one the time taken this one about the 50 seconds is not going to be there more than a week though whatever the plate about that whereas alkaline and uh, other one about that uh, uh, these are reactions about that uh, how it is going to happen that uh, some gold etc gold metal when made as an anode dissolves very fast in cyanide bath therefore an inert anode uh, is used uh, gold trichloride is added periodically to react with cyanide ions released during the reaction. This helps to main maintaining the concentration of gold nitrate, gold cyanide in the bath. So, now electroless plating process. So, electroless plating process it is the deposition of a metal from its salt solution on a catalytical active surface by a suitable reducing agent without passing electrical energy or electricity. So, you know like metal and this is called catalytically active surface uh, metal plated plus oxidized product about that. See now you know like electroless plating is that about that is a deposit of metal from its salt solution um, without uh, solution on a catalytically active surface by a suitable reducing agent without electrical energy or electricity about that. See here uh, uh, you know like uh, 
whereas electroplating uh, we are using that you know like anode cathode anode cathode uh, is uh, electrons flowing and this is cathode this is anode and this was plated about that whereas in electroless plating process only directly object can be plated no anode no cathode this is electroless plating process this is electro plating process uh, electro plating process ep just to write electro plating this is electroless plating process about that so now you know like here anode cathodes are going to be corroded here where this connected to here you are no anode cathode this one electroless plating process it is the deposition of metal from its salt solution on a catalytically active surface by a suitable reducing agent without using electrical energy or electricity what are the advantages about the example electroless plating electroless plating electroless plating with respect to nickel and copper electroless plating with respect to nickel and copper about that so now you know like electroless plating uh, electroless plating advantages about that see here this is going to happen in some of the textbook they have written that catalytically active catalyst surface no this is catalytically active surface so now metal ion plus reducing agent gives metal for example electroplating of nickel nickel plus reducing agent sodium hypophosphate metal plated plus oxidized product so this is going to happen only on the cat catalytically active surface if we don't write above and below that uh, arrow mark that uh, you know like what is catalytic at surface no no meaning about that simply things cannot change about that what are the advantages about electroless plating process electrical power and electrical contacts are eliminated so that means you see here electrical power and electrical contacts are eliminated whereas electroplating process electrical power and electric contacts are required because you have anode and cathode semiconductors and insulators like plastics glass wood thread etc or uh, say or uh, um, can be plated i repeat semiconductors and insulators like plastics glass wood thread etc means this nail uh, here also can be plated and electroless plating bars have better throwing power i'm going to explain what is throwing power later about that electroless plating bars have better throwing power and uh, intricate parts with irregular shapes uh, with uh, irregular shapes can be uniformly coated intricate parts with irregular shapes means irrespective structure of the object uh, up and down clarity about that for example you are seeing this one small big etc about that irrespective of the object structure of the object you will get uniform thickness about that where I, and the resulting deposits of ionic like chemical mechanical and magnetic properties so these are all advantages about that so the electroless plating is a process is deposition of metal from its salt solution on a catalytically active surface by a suitable reducing agent without using electrical energy or electricity example electroless plating of nickel copper etc and advantages electrical power and electric contacts are eliminated or not required electrical power and electric contacts are not required and semiconductors and insulators like plastics glass wood thread chalk etc can be plated and electroless plating bars have better throwing power what is throwing power i'm going to explain in the later stages uh, then the intricate parts i n t r i c a t e intricate parts with irregular shapes can be uniformly coated or plated and the resulting deposits have ionic like chemical mechanical and magnetic properties so next one is that uh, we'll uh, start with uh, electroless plating bath composition see similar to that uh, electroplating process electroless plate bath composition uh, number one is that pre treatment and activation of surface is nothing but sensitization 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 electroplating uh, electroless plating bath composition number one pre treatment is nothing but uh, activation of surface uh, the nothing but sensitization uh, okay it's here a sensitization electroless plating bath composition say about that electroactive metal for example nickel chloride 
निकल क्लोराइड फॉर इलेक्ट्रोस्पेटिंग ऑफ कॉप निकल निकल कॉपर सल्फेट कॉपर सल्फेट फॉर इलेक्ट्रोस्पेटिंग ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट फॉर इलेक्ट्रोस्पेटिंग ऑफ कॉपर सो इलेक्ट्रो ऑक्टिव मेटल निकल क्लोराइड फॉर निकल क्लोराइड फॉर निकल इलेक्ट्रोलेटिंग प्रोसेस कॉपर सल्फेट फॉर कॉलेटिंग प्रोसेस अबाउट द रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सोडियम हाइपोपासपाइट सोडियम हाइपोपासपाइट सोडियम हाइपोपासपाइट रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट Reducing agent for electrolysis plating of nickel, sodium hypophosphite, phosphite, and and electrolysis plating of this one about that, uh, uh, this one copper, other one about that. Okay, the, then you know like uh, this one, uh, uh, the, this one next one is that here. Electro reducing agent sodium hypophosphate used as a reducing agent for electrospating of nickel. Complexing agent and exultant. Complexing agent example sodium succinate. Sodium succinate. Sodium succinate. Sodium succinate. Glycinate. Glycinate. citrate citrate tartrate fluoride edta in my topic don't try to expand the term edta this is only in the lab or water technology chapter ethylene diamond tetraacetic acid so now sodium succinate acts as a complexing agent for Electrolysis plating of nickel, edentile, and EDTA acts as a complexing agent for electrolysis plating of copper. So this one about that complexing agent such as sodium succinate, glycinate, citrate, tartrate, etc. Used for this one nickel. Uh, this one about that and. Uh, Uh, EDTA for this one about that and exultant. What is exultant? E X A L T A N T S. Exultants are used to increase the rate of the plating process. Exultants are used to increase the rate of the plating process. For example, um, sodium succinate. Same thing. Sodium succinate end up with uh, up to EDTA. EDTA. So that means sodium succinate, glycinate, citrate, tartrate. About that, sodium succinate acts as a complexing agent and exultant. And EDTA acts as a complexing agent and exultant. Clear? Sodium succinate, sodium succinate acts as a complexing agent, exultant for electrospating of nickel. And uh you know like uh, edt ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid used as a this one uh, comes as exultant for electrospating of copper so this uh, exultants are used to increase the rate of the plating process that means it accelerates so next is that a uh, buffer buffers are uh, buffers are used to control the ph buffers are used to control the ph for example sodium Sodium acetate, sodium acetate used as a complexing agent for electrolysis plating of nickel and mixture of and mixture of sodium hydroxide, mixture of sodium hydroxide NaOH and rocale salt ROCHE LLE plus rocale salt. That is uh, used as a buffering agent for electrospating of copper. I repeat, buffers are used to control the pH. For example, uh, for electrospating of nickel, sodium acetate. Whereas for electrospating of copper, uh, you are going to use that about that sodium hydroxide and rocale salt. Rocale salt means potassium sodium tartrate about that. Then uh, one more thing uh, I am going to about that stabilizers. 
stabilizers are missed here. Stabilizers are used to prevent the bath decomposition. Stabilizers are used to prevent the bath decomposition. Stabilizers are used to prevent the bath decomposition. That means not to degrade. For example, ions of calcium, lead, thiourea. Thiourea is a neutral molecule. So, these things have to be used in ppm level, negligible quantity. That is why we are not going to mention so what are the stabilizers are using about that. While preparing uh, any uh, 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 food items, we add small amounts, we will not mention the negligible quantity. Similarly, about that, uh, stabilizers are used to prevent the bath decomposition. Uh, you know, like uh, this one, when we, uh, when we are going to do that, electroplating, electro splitting process takes place on the and any material about that. Chances are that to plate the content itself about that. So, now uh, stabilizers are used to prevent the bath decomposition that means not to degrade. Then uh, you know like uh, pH for electroplating of uh, for electroplating of uh, nickel for electroplating of nickel pH pH 4.5 temperature temperature 93 degrees Celsius. Whereas, electroless plating of copper pH 11.0 and temperature 25 degree Celsius. So, now though we are going to say complex electro metal all these things 6th or 7th one, but this pH and temperature are very very important role about that. Somewhere I have told you that you can plate it on your nail or air which one you have to select that. You have to select electro plating of nickel not copper because uh, you know, not nickel, you have to sorry, you have to select only uh, copper because pH is uh, more alkaline and temperature is around room temperature if it is compare the Bangalore. So, if you go for electrolysis splitting of nickel 4.5 that is burning uh, this is acidic one and 93 Celsius about that burning temperature. So, if at all if you have to plate it on your nail or air, you have to go for doing electro plating of that copper only uh, and uh, reactions that is no anode no cathode only anodic and cathodic reactions are there it's called auto catalytic redox reactions these reactions are going to take place on the surface object called auto catalytic redox reactions so here you know like temperature and ph are very very important role for example i told you about this the object if you take that electrolysis plating of uh, uh, nickel up to temperature is 93 degrees celsius but uh, ph is 4.5 but up to seven, up to 70 degrees Celsius, electrolysis plating process will not start. Above 70 starts that, and beyond 90 degrees Celsius, uh, that electrolysis plating process will not takes place on the surface of the object. Bath may degrade or plated over the container itself. So normally in industry, people uh, not going to do above 93. They are going to do the 92.8 or 92 only. See, for example, electroplating of uh, copper 50 degrees Celsius. Even industry people are going to do 49 only because if it is 51 to bring it back to 49 to 50 say 1000 rupees then 51 to 40 double up that amount for cooling purpose. So, normally people are going to do just lower than the expected one in particular in electrospating process 93 means about 93.0 only if it is 93.2 or 1 bath will not uh, electrospating process will not test the surface object bath may degrade or plated over the container because electrolysis plating process takes place conducting non conduct etc. So, when you are going to answer to this question in the main examination this is one of the question we are going to ask 100 percent in any exam about that electrolysis plating of copper because it is used for both for the, for the manufacture of printed circuit electronics you are right pH 11.0 only and temperature 25 only if you write 26 no if you write 11.2 no about the right temperature and pH are very very important role um, important factors in this one. So, then next is that I told you uh, this one so far I discuss about that uh, electrolysis plating bath composition number one pre treatment and active surface and within the bracket to write sensitization then electrolysis plating bath composition electro active metal reducing agent complexing agent exultant uh, buffer uh, stabilizers um, pH 
temperature and reactions about that uses are applications number 1 it is used to protect the metal from the corrosion you use for both domestic and industrial purpose about that so now okay now we are going to do let us start with the electroplating electroless plating of copper electroless plating of copper uh, number 1 is that pre treatment and activation of surface is called sensitization so now out of 8 marks you will get only one mark if you write that the so many lines about that and uh, sometimes later you are going to write only few words to get to a mark so now you know like pre treatment means about that whether it is a metal non metal or an alloy or an alloy any one of that object may be conducting non conducting this one about that first you have to remove the dirt that is called degreasing okay students belongs to management quota comet care ct first report to physics or chemistry department like that whether metal material belongs to management this one metal non metal or alloy first you have to remove that that is called degreasing degreasing and if the then metals can be directly plated without sensitization so that means management quota people directly enter the college like that metals can be directly plated without your without sensitization an alloy an alloy the object an alloy dip in odd solution containing 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid equal volume of sulfuric acid so dip in 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid about that if it is an alloy is nothing but Homogene mixture of two or more metals. Example: stainless steel, 188 steel, 18% of nickel, 8% of chromium. About that, dip in art so that object is ready for electrosplitting process. If the object is non-conducting material, I told you about second advantage: semiconductors and insulators like plastics, glass, wood, thread, etc., are sensitized with stannous chloride solution. or sensitized with stannous chloride solution if you want to uh, plate it on your nail you have to do this treatment uh, on here also so uh, semiconductors and insulators like plastics glass wood thread etc are sensitized with stannous chloride solution containing hydrochloric acid at 25 degree celsius at 25 degree celsius about that and followed by dipping in palladium chloride solution p a l l a d i u m palladium chloride solution palladium chloride solution palladium chloride solution once that object is dry you'll get a layer of palladium layer of palladium you have to get a layer of palladium on your object in your nail then only it is possible to plate it about that so now i repeat you i need that to I I need not to uh, take that uh, any this one. This is non-conducting material. Just you have to sensitize with trans containing hydrochloric acid, followed by dipping in palladium chloride solution. Then followed by this one, you'll get uh, a layer of palladium. Then it is possible to plate it over this one. That is electrosplitting of copper or nickel, whatever the one about that. Even if you want to plate on nail, you have to get the layer of palladium. That's what uh, non-conducting materials are going to be plated over that. For example, in earlier days. um the fans and table fans and ceiling fans were metallic uh, leaves i bought that now non metallic one this because of this plated one about that so this is about pre treatment just what are the sentences i told you so far four sentences you will get that only one mark one one mark about that see that's what object metal non metal alloy is degreased with organic solvent directly followed by acid treatment metals can be directly uh, used uh, along with a uh, suitable reducing agent an alloy example stainless steel dip in odd solution containing 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid uh, semiconductor insulators like plastics glass quartz wood thread etc nail chalk are sensitized with stannous chloride solution uh stannous chloride solution containing hydrochloric acid at 25 degree centigrade followed by dipping in palladium chloride solution when the object is dried layer of palladium is obtained so this is about num pre treatment number 2 number 2 here you know like electroless plating bath composition see now you are right 12 g per liter of copper sulfate that is if you want to write copper sulfate write coso4 CuSO4 5H2O. Don't write only CuSO4. Okay, 
copper sulfate pentahydrate then 8 gram per lay about that formaldehyde there i have told you sodium hypophosphate is a reducing agent for aromatic and nickel here uh, formaldehyde hcho 8 gram per lay about that uh, formaldehyde uh, this reducing agent so then uh, 20 gram per lay about edta ethylene diamine tetracyclic acid that is about that complexing agent and exaltant exaltants are used to increase the rate of the plating process then 15 gram per lay about sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and 14 gram per lay about that rochelle salt rochelle uh, apostrophe salt that is nothing but uh, this one uh, potassium sodium tartrate potassium 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 sodium tartrate that is nothing but rochelle salt so i repeat that we end up this is about that uh, number number two is that 12 gram per lay about that copper sulfate 8 gram per lay about that that is copper sulfate nothing but electro octane metal 8 gram per lay about that uh, formaldehyde hcho that is reducing agent 20 gram per lay about that edta edta oxide ethylene diamine tetracyclic acid acts as a complexing agent and exaltant exaltants are used to increase the rate of the plating process and uh, uh, this one buffer uh, the 15 gram per lay about sodium hydroxide plus 14 gram per lay about rochelle salt rochelle salt rochelle salt or potassium sodium tartrate next ph ph 11.0 temperature at 25 degrees celsius reactions reactions you know like uh, reactions uh, cathode that is uh, cathodic reaction cathodic reaction cu2 plus plus 2e minus gives cu you call it as this is one anode that is anodic reaction no anode anodic reaction okay 2hcho what is this this is about that formaldehyde 2 hcho plus 4 hydroxyl is not 40 h minus 4 space oh minus 4 hydroxyl ions gives 2 h 2 h coo minus plus plus 2 h 2 o plus h 2 plus 2e minus this you call it as this is about that second reaction i repeat 2 hcho formal date plus 4 hydroxyl ions gives 2 hco minus plus 2 water molecules plus hydrogen and uh, the overall reaction or net reaction you have to cancel this you have to cancel this you have to write that cu2 plus plus 2 hcho plus 4 o4 oh minus catalytically active surface catalytically catalytically active surface if you do not write uh, catalytic active surface above or below the term or no marks plus Cu plus 2 HCOO minus plus 2 H2O plus H2. So, this is called overall reaction this carries see now I told you pretreatment 1 mark electrospecting bath composition 2 marks and reaction uh, pH and temperature a mark and uh, uh, reactions 3 marks ok uh, this one 4 plus 7 one more mark for that uses or applications. So, we will so continue this one about the so far we are discussing about that reaction cathode Cu2 plus plus 2E minus gives Cu this is the reaction 1 and 2 anode that is anodic reaction 4 CHO plus 4 hydroxyl ions 4 hydroxyl ions gives 2 SCO minus plus water molecules for hydrogen you call it as this is 2 overall reaction or net reaction this is about overall reaction or net reaction about that you know like see this uh, one and this one is cancelled to Cu2 plus plus 2 HCHO plus 4 OH minus plus Cu plus 2 HCOO minus H2O uh, 2 H2O plus H2 here you have to in our mark you have to write that properly that catalytically active surface if you do not write above and below that mark the arrow mark no marks about that 
catalytically active surface, not catalyst surface. Some of the textbooks have written catalyst surface, this is about that, this carries 3 marks. I told you about this and temperature and pH a mark. Uh, earlier one uh, that is about that 2 marks, uh, this one 2 marks about that and pre-treatment a mark about that totally and uh, next applications to a mark about that applications. A typical application of this plating is printed circuit boards uh, in uh, particularly double sided and multi layer uh, in which plating through holes is required. See in my service I have seen that about that most of the times electro plating copper question was asked once or twice they asked about indirect question you explain the manufacture of explain you explain the manufacture of explain the manufacture of printed circuit PCBs manufacture of PCBs on copper on copper that means about that on copper using copper whatever then about that sended question instead of asking a question what is electrospating process explain electrospating of copper otherwise explain the manufacture of printed circuit boards in electronic industries that is nothing but electrospating of copper so number one um, number one it is used to protect the metal from the corrosion number two is that uh, cu on al you know in vtu syllabus we have mentioned about that cu on al for example, electroplating of iron, uh, IF, uh, FE, this is different, C on A, that means electroplating of copper on aluminum. So, that means you will get a mark, if you do not add marks, know this one about that. So, it is more important, this is used for printed circuit boards in electronic industries. Now, you have completed a question, what is electrosplating process, explain electrosplating of copper in uh, electronic industries. Next is electroless plating of nickel, electroless plating of nickel same that pre-treatment uh, by organic solvent, uh, pre-treatment active surface similar to that one and they by treating with organic alkali followed by acid treatment then uh, you know like uh, it is then activates it depends upon the substrate. So, that means about that I told you about this if the object is uh, you know like metals can be directly plated, metals can be directly plated and alloy can have to be dip in 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid and uh, so semiconductor etc this has to be um, this one what is sensitized with organic solvents or alkali followed by acid treatment um, in this what is that uh, this one are sensitized with stannous chloride containing uh, hydrochloric acid at 25 degree Celsius followed by dipping in palladium chloride so you get a layer of palladium I repeat metal non metal alloy or first you have to remove the dirt which is the, this called degreasing followed by acid treatment. If it, the object is a metal directly can be plated, if the object is an alloy dip in 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid and if the object is non-conducting material like semiconductors, insulators etc. or sensitized with stannous chloride solution containing hydrochloric acid followed by uh, 25 degrees Celsius followed by dipping in palladium chloride solution you will get a layer of palladium once you uh, one, uh, once you get that about that. Then uh, electroplating bath composition see sodium uh, nickel chloride 20 gram per liter about this electro active metal electro active metal 20 gram per liter about that nickel chloride and uh, um, this one uh, what is that uh, um, 20 gram per liter about that sodium hypophosphite this is a reducing agent, uh, reducing agent about that and sodium succinate, sodium succinate uh, you know like that, uh, that this is missed out here, sodium, sodium succinate acts as a complexing agent and exalt, exaltant sodium succinate acts as a complex agent and exaltant, sodium acetate acts as a buffer and pH 4.5 temperature 9, 93 degrees Celsius. I repeat number two, number 1 pre-treatment, number 2 electrospating bath composition 20 gram per liter about that uh, nickel chloride 20 that is a electroactive metal 20 gram about sodium succinate complex agent and exultant 15 gram per liter about that sodium hydra, sodium acetate um, this one about that uh, and 10 gram about that sodium acetate buffer and uh, this one I repeat 12, uh, 20 gram, so 20 gram, 15 gram and this is 10 gram. 20 gram nickel, uh, nickel chloride, uh, 20 gram sodium hypophosphite, 
15 gram sodium uh, sodium succinate, 10 gram sodium acetate as well as a buffer, pH 4.5, temperature 93 degree Celsius. Reaction Ni2 plus plus 2E minus gives Ni, you call it as this is 1, call it as 1 and uh, anode that is anode create H2PO2 minus plus H2O gives H2PO3 minus plus 2H plus plus 2E minus gives H2PO3 uh, minus, this should becomes like this about that okay s2 po2 minus plus h2o gives h2 po3 minus plus 2h plus h2 this one about that uh, 2h plus uh, plus 2e minus 2h plus plus 2e minus uh, uh, this is 2e minus plus 2e minus you call it as this one then you have to cancel this you have to cancel overall reaction you have to write catalytic active surface then Ni2 plus plus H2PO2 minus plus H2O gives H2PO3 minus plus 2H plus it is called overall reaction or net reaction already I told you about this one if you write that anodic and cathodic reaction overall reaction you will get 3 marks about that next one is that applications so I told you number one is that uh, yeah, in this one it is used to protect the metal from the corrosion. Number two, it is used for uh, this one what is that iron on steel, iron on steel, electroplating of nickel on iron. I repeat, um, no, this one what is that Fe on iron about that, you know like this one about that, you know electroplating of nickel on iron, electroplating of electrosplating of nickel on iron. It is used in electronic applications, plastic, cab, uh, this one uh, uh, cabinets coated with uh, copper, nickel or electroless plating or used in digital and electronic instruments uh, for uh, electromagnetic interference shielding, etc. Due to the oddness and abrasion uh, resistance, wear and tear used on the industrial components such as pumps and valves, pistons, gears and uh, shafts. Electroless plating of nickel plated polymers are used for decorative purpose. And one more thing is that it is used, this one what is that, the high treated electroless plating process are used for that, this one what is that, this one pumps, pumps, vessels, high pressure vessels about the high pumps, vessels, hydraulic compressor components hydraulic compressor hydraulic compressor components hydraulic compressor components pumps vessels etc about that the heat treated elastic of nickel are preferred to use in fuel injection assemblies fuel injection assemblies this high pressure one I feel injection assemblies, I repeat, number one is that uh, um, this one is um, copper, uh, electrospatic of nickel on iron, now it is used to prevent metal from the corrosion. Number three, the high treated, uh, the, um, the, the heat treated electrospatic of nickel are preferred to use in fuel injection assemblies, uh, in your pumps, vessels, hydraulic compressor components, etc. This is about electrospatic of copper. and. Uh, uh, last one is that throwing power. Somewhere I told you about that throwing power. That is what is throwing power. Throwing power is nothing but the ability of the plating bath to give a uniform and even deposit on the entire surface of the object is called throwing power. For the, this throwing power can be determined using an airing blum cell, H A R I N G, H A R I N G B L U M cell. Airing blum cell and uh, this one about that numerical problem the percentage of throwing power can be determined by using aluminum cell it consists of two cathodes and an anode uh, in general the amount of metal deposited over the cathode is one is slightly lower than cathode 2 since it is not the sketch i am going to write the sketch on the board that is about that electro this one what is that uh, uh, aluminum cell about that see now you have that anode in the center anode in the center and there are two cathodes. Why I am explaining this one while explaining about that uh, uh, 
polarization, I told you distance between anode and cathode. So, one is uh, one, uh, one cathode is very near to anode, other one is far away from the anode. Okay. So, that means about that I am writing rough sketch. See now, if that uh, this is anode, anode this is cathode 2, cathode 2 this is anode uh, cathode 1, cathode 1. See now, the uh, this is called air emblem cell H A R I N G dash B L U M cell. cell about that percentage of throwing power is equal to 100 into x minus y by x plus y minus 2 x plus y minus 2 when when c 1 is greater than c 2. See now this is c 2 c 2 is c is nothing but distance and c 1 is that about that this one about that. So, now uh, you know like uh, this is electrolyte etcetera all these thing about that one is for example, I am going to talk about the numerical problem uh, what is throwing power expand calculate the percent in air emblem cell if the distances between the two cathodes are 4 centimeter and 6.60 centimeter from the anode. Okay, that means, one is uh, C 1 is greater than C 2. I mean the amount of metal deposit over the cathodes are 55 milligram. You have to divide this. Uh, one is conducting, other one is non-conducting one. This is uh, conducting one. Uh, this is uh, conducting one. This is conducting one. That means, say assume that the area of the say about this, uh, you know, two centimeter. This is eight centimeter. You have to construct one. But now this is going to be one centimeter, one centimeter. In other words. If it is 40, 60 side, 30, 40 plus 30, 40. The area of that cathode 1 conducting area and cathodic uh, area of that cathodic 2 uh, should be equal to the anodic area 1. This is like mother. Okay, so, now, uh, in general, uh, I repeat the numerical problem. What is throwing power? Explain the percentage of throwing power. Cal uh, explain the air emblem cell and uh, calculate the percentage of throwing power in air emblem cell if the distances between the two cathodes are 4.00 centimeter and 6.6 centimeter and the weights of metal of a metal deposited over the cathodes are 55 milligram and 52 milligrams respectively here 52 here 55 milligram so that means uh, you know like uh, this one the one which is very close to anode the amount of metal deposit is more whereas the one which is away from that uh, this one that is less amount for example in bjp government there are two deputy chief ministers were there and cm about that the one from the bangalore very near to the principal uh, this one chief minister the one away from the bangalore away, this one that is another one about another deputy chief. that means uh, this is the low this is higher influenced this is lower influenced so why in general weight of the metal deposited over cathode 1 is slightly lower than cathode 2 because of its lower over potential or in general weight of the metal deposited over the cathode 2 is slightly higher than cathode 1. So, slightly 55 and 50, 55 and 52 is not that much, but it is a matters about that. Later you have to calculate the percentage of throwing power. If you get more than 90 percent about that, that is better deposition that is about electrosplating of copper electrosplating process electroplating 60 to 80 only that is what I told you about that electrosplating baths have higher uh, no, electrosplating baths have higher throwing power this is about uh, what is throwing power explain um, uh, this uh, this are same thing the following one numerical problem uh, I think next is what are things percentage of throwing power is equal to this one 1.65 that means you have to 6.60 by 4.00 you will get 1.65. Uh, so, then first throwing power is equal to this one, IR 1 by lower 1. C 1 is the distance between anode and cathode, uh, cathode 1. C 2 is the distance between anode and cathode 2. W 2 is the weight of the metal deposited over cathode 2. W 1 is the weight of the metal deposited over this one. Percentage of throwing power is equal to around 60 percent. So, now distinguish between electroplating and electroless plating process. This is the topic about that here, uh, you know like advantages about electroless plating process. See now just you know like you write uh, this is all electro electroplating 
and electroless plating process. Now, you know like what are the advantages as I have told you, you write it under electroless plating process, then electroplating process just to write no that is uh, uh, electroplating process. So, now I am going to write this one about that here. Okay. So, now you know like for example, electroplating process, electroplating process, electroplating and electroless plating process, electroless plating process, electroless plating process. Now, distinguish between electroplating and electroless plating process, you write definition of electroplating process. Electroplating is a process in which one metal is coated with another metal. Example, ex electroplating with respect to nickel, chromium, etc. Then you write uh, electroless plating definition. It is the deposition of a metal from its salt solution on a catalytically active surface by a suitable reducing agent without passing electricity. Then examples, examples. You will get uh, two marks. What are the marks assigned to this question? Then what are the advantage? In advantage for you to write the advantages here. What are the advantages I told you so far about that electroless plating process? Electrical power, electric contacts can be eliminated. Semiconductors, etc. can be about that. Now, you write here electrical power, electric contacts are required. Are required. Here cannot be uh, this one what is that uh, eliminated because you have that anode and cathode. So, electroplating is the one about that here you are going to pass anode cathode this way about that whereas, electroless plating process directly object can be plated about that. So, semiconductor this one what is electrical contact can be eliminated here cannot be eliminated otherwise you write that electrical power electric contacts are required. Then semiconductors and insulators like plastics, glass, wood thread etcetera can be plated. Instead of plating cannot be plated you write that only metals can be plated, only metals can be only contact metals can be plated. And uh, electroless plating baths have higher throwing power, higher throwing power, you write here lower throwing power, lower throwing power, electroplating baths have lower throwing power, intricate parts with uh, intricate I N T R A C intricate uh, parts with uh, irregular shapes can be uniformly coated here, it is not possible to coat uniformly, not possible to coat uniformly that means, cannot be plated uniformly. Intricate parts and receipts cannot be uniformly coated. The resulting deposits are ionic like chemical, mechanical and magnetic properties here it is not ionic like that, it is not ionic does not about that clear. I repeat that definition about electrosplating your definition about that you will get 2 marks and you write electrical power electrons can be eliminated here cannot be eliminated semiconductors and insulator like plastic glass etc can be plated here, here cannot be plated only metals can be plated, only contact metals can be plated. Yeah, the electrolysis plating bars have higher throwing power, electro plating bars have lower throwing power and uh, intricate parts with uh, irrespective structure object will get uniform thickness whereas, in that electro plating process not uh, you, you, in intricate part irrespective cannot be uniformly coated. The resulting deposits of unique like chemical, mechanical and magnetic properties here does not be unique like chemical, mechanical, magnetic properties. If you write any 3 for 3 more marks, if it is 5 marks, uh, any 3. So, do, for definition even like sometimes we are going to ask repeated question what is electroplating explain uh, and uh, distinguish electroplating again and again I will write the same definition. However, if you assume everything we will not give the marks about that. So, now so far I completed that. Uh, Electro what is electroplating process, uh, metal finishing meaning, technological metal finishing, polarization over voltage definitions, electroplating definition, bath composition, electroplate nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver, etc. Then electroless plating definition, uh, example advantages, electroless plating with respect to nickel, copper, um, uh, this one um, they are distinguished between electroplating and electroless plating process, what is throwing power, explain, calculate the percentage of throwing power in a um, um, this one uh, the throwing power using air emblem cell etcetera 
and uh, this is about general uh, one uh, this is uh, module 2 is completed but i am going to tell you uh, two lines about that what are all the books supposed to be studied about the textbooks are the origin of the subject why do you want to study text uh, different books when you are in ninth standard the teacher is to say go to the fourth page ninth page read second para something like that but when you are in graduation course you are in graduation course you have to refer number of textbooks for example if i say cathode anode etc you have to read and come and ask that so that means you know like for example bomb calorimeter experiment diagram construction working refer jain and jain textbook other thing don't uh, yeah, refer other than jain and jain textbook so similarly that means about that now engineering chemistry by P.C. Jain and Monica Jain, one of the textbook is referred throughout this country, not only in Karnataka state. I have, I am referring this book 1990, I have three copies and uh, you know it is like um, Ocean, uh, Engineering Chemistry by P.C. Jain, Monica Jain, now 16th edition is available and one more book is called Engineering Chemistry by Jay Prakash, Venugopal, B.S. Jay Prakash, R. Venugopal, Pushpayangar, Shukumaraya, Professor R. Professor B.S. Jay Prakash, former special officer of ATU and uh, professor and head of the department of Bangalore Institute of Technology later he became principal of that college. Shukumaraya um, uh, worked as a professor and head principal now he is a CEO of Siddhanga Institute of Technology SIT. Shuk um, R. Venugopal was my teacher he is no more he was from uh, BAT group only and professor uh, Pushpa Ingar also from the Bangalore Institute of Technology. One more book is called Engineering Chemistry by O.G. Palana. O.G. Palana that is the Dalpatra public, this one about the Tata Magra publications. Uh, you know, I am also one of the referee of the textbook. Uh, these are three textbooks or important textbooks are mentioned about that. However, we also written a textbook, uh, you have to refer that. Textbooks are the origin of the subject. Engineering Chemistry by P. C. Jain and Monica Jain, Dalpatra publications. Number two, Engineering Chemistry by uh, B. S. J. Prakash, R. Venugopal, Pushpayangar and Shukumaraya. Number three, Engineering Chemistry by O. G. Palanna, P. A. L. A. N. N. A. Palanna, that is about the Tata Magrail publications about that. Thank you very much.